They claim that their land had great potential for farming and fishing until the salt mining farms took over. Marehemu babangu alikuja huku mwaka wa 1973. Wakati huo ardhi ilikuwa ni nzuri, mimea ikawa ni mizuri na mimea ambayo ilipanda kwa katika shamba hilo zaidi ni minazi miembe na mikorosho ambayo hiyo yote ilistawi kwa uzuri miaka hiyo ya kutoka 1980 kwenda chini kutoka alipoanza kubunisha wakati wa viwanda vya chumbi havijaingia kulikuwa kuna msitu wa mkoko walipoingia walikata ile mazingira yote ya mkoko ukawa hakuna tena mkoko ni ni jangwa wakati kampuni za chumbi zilizokuwa hazijakuja kwetu tulikuwa tunaishi upande wa ufuoni wa ufuo wa bahari na tulikuwa huko tunapata chakula kwa wingi kwa sababu tulikuwa tunalima na mchanga uko na rutuba lakini zilipoingia kampuni za chumbi wakatuhamisha huko kilazima na wakatuelekeza upande wa juu sehemu za ukame ambazo hatuwezi kupata chakula kwa wingi beneath the veneer of the successful mining farms are tales of hopelessness as many local residents are living under the fear of eviction environmental induced illnesses human rights violation and general exploitation orena ngombe na mbuzi na koko gredi na kalo fugaji na bawani Moving along Malindi Garissa Road, salt mining companies lay 40 kilometers along the Kenyan coast. Approximately 9,400 acres of land in the Marereni area are owned by the salt manufacturing farms. Land is a critical factor of production and is therefore at the center of contemporary discourse on human rights in Africa. It is a key of containing poverty and maintenance of sustainable livelihood system in the third world. This is an, these are issues that came way back since 1980 and since then we've never seen reparations or solutions to the problems that we are facing. And it's, an, it's a struggle that our parents, our grandparents, even us are going through. And we have the fear that if we don't get the solution to these problems, even the children, our children and the children of our children are going to face the same ordeal. Bahadzana is a Giriyama term that means yesterday was way better than today. In brief, the salt industries have brought more harm than good to the locals. Wengine walikuwa tayari wamekeza wako na minazi, wako na nyumba, na hata kuna mzee mwingine alikuwa na cottages huko upande wa baharini na unakuta kwamba kwa sababu wao walitumia the provisional administration manyumba yaliweza kuangushwa minazi ikaweza kuangushwa na hilo ni jambo ambalo limesababisha umaskini kwa jamii yetu hii ambayo tunaishi hapa Marereni While the salt processing industry in Kenya is thriving the environment is being degraded and the economy depleted For one we, we depend on fishing as one of the economic economic activities that we are undergoing in this area and through the degradation that goes on we find that it has disrupted the smooth flow of the activity in such a way that there are no supplies of fish which means the youth that depend on the ocean as their part or the sea as part and parcel of their economic activity are facing problems salt mining is expanding and the demand for wood fuel is rising According to a worker at one of the salt mines, the factory can consume up to 500 tons of wood per day, which amounts to 15,000 tons per month and 180,000 tons per year, turning the region into a desert wasteland. We checked on the extent of degradation and we confirmed that uh, lots and lots of mangrove trees have been cut down to create salt pans. The extent of pollution 
done by the salt farms here in Marareni was too, too, too big. So most of the turtles that we, we normally received from fishermen had a disease called fibropapillomas. This is developmental tumors all over the body. And this is contributed by this, uh, the, the, the pollution kind of uh, pollution that are normally emitted into the sea by the salt farms. Boholes have been a great source of water to the community. But after the salt mining practices, water has great salt levels, hence no longer consumable for humans and dangerous to most of the plant life. Na visima ambavyo vilikuwa viko katika shamba letu vilikuwa vinasaidia wakati wa ukame watu wote walikuwa wakiishi upande wa maeneo ya mashamba ya juu wakati wa ukame wote walikuwa kiteremka chini na maji wakati huo yalikuwa ni maji ya mzizimu kabisa so walipokuwa sasa wakiendelea kubunisha hali pia zikabadilika licha ya kwamba walikuwa wanasema pia maeneo yale ni maeneo yao pia sasa hali ya mimea ikaanza kubadilika Minazi ikawa haifanyi vizuri, mikorosho mpaka leo haifanyi vizuri, miembe mpaka leo haifanyi vizuri. Yale maeneo ambao kabisa tumepakana na wao, minazi haizai na inakufa kila siku. Ambapo sasa inadidimisha hali ya uchumi katika boma lile. Entirely the water table has been changed just because of uh, the, the, the salt farms. If you look at uh, the whole area from uh, Gomeni to the, to, the area, to the other end, you find that uh, some years back, there, there, there was a forest, a big forest, and we find that many community people, uh, community members, used to go to get down there and get some water from uh, the, 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 the dugout uh, pans, water pans. But now it's impossible. Some of the water pans, pans now do not have fresh water. It's salty altogether. It has changed. The water table has changed completely just because there are no trees anymore. Kabla kampuni ya chumbi kuingia mareren, jamii ya mareren walikuwa gitumia maji upande wa mfua bahari. Ulikuwa kulichimba visima ambayo viko na maji tamu. Maji yale alikuja akaharibua na wakina chumbi kwa sababu ya kukataa jamii wasipite upande wa hiyo shamba wanasema shamba ni lao. Hasa dhambi kubwa ambayo walifanya walichukua visima wakavieka magunia ya chumbi ndani ili yale maji yawe makali kabisa wasiweze kutumia wale jamii kwa kunywa. Isipokuwa tu katika hilo shamba kuna sehemu ndogo ambayo imebakia hapo jamii wanaweza wakachimba chimba kidogo na wakapata maji safi yale maji yale pia ikafikia mahali wanataka kuwapa chimbe waweke mabriki ya chumbi lakini kwa sababu ya, ya mashirika ama shirika ambao lina lijiunda li, pale mareni kutetea jamii wakakataa kabisa hiyo sehemu isichimbwe ili jamii waendelee kunywa hayo maji Saa hii jamii mareni wanapata shida ya maji sana. Wakinywa maji ni kutoka sehemu ya timboni ambayo ni njia naheri mgongoni. Hayo maji inaletwa na magari kuletwa kwa mtu ambaye amejenga tangi kwa nyumba yake atanunua hiyo gari kwa shilingi 1000. Na yule mwenzake ambaye hana uwezo wa kujenga tangi aletewe hiyo gari ya, ya maji itabidi aende kule kwa jirani yake enda akanunue kwa shilingi 15 plastiki moja. Tukikosa hayo maji huwa jamii inalalamika sana hakuna maji ya karibu ambako wanaweza wakapata. Ni lazima atembee kilomita kumi ama kilomita ishirini kuna sehemu pia tunaita Mwiwakae ambacho ni kijiji karibu na Mareni. Hiyo sehemu ndio ambayo ina maji mengi pia kuna visima watu hutembea na punda huko kwenda kuchotea hayo maji. Lakini mtu ambaye hana punda lazima atembee karibu kilomita ishirini ili apate hayo maji. Kwa hivyo tumekuwa na hiyo shida sana. Health has also been an issue to local residents. Kuingia kwa kazi ya chumbini kuna waleta madhara ya, ya afya. Mtu akipata mwezi huo adha ya, yake mpaka mwezi ujao ndio uishi. Human rights violation in food, water and environmental health has been a major concern. Tunahitaji intervention ifanyike so that kufanyiwe research is it why is it that kama mwanamke anafanya kazi kwa kampuni za chumvi ana or kuna hizo changes zenye zinafanyika mpaka wanaumia The question is is the government doing anything to curb this situation Tume kumekuja watu wengi watu environment watu wa forest watu wa nini kuja kuangalia zile hali ambazo ziko kule lakini ripoti zote zimekuwa zikienda na mpaka leo hakuna ile ripoti ambayo pengine tunaona ya kwamba 
italeta mabadiliko katika hali hiyo. Kwa hivyo tunaomba serikali ya ugatuzi yaje ya tupate tu, 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 utafiti mpaka tupate mashamba yetu na tuangalie mazingira yetu kama yanakuja na, na hivyo ama yanaletwa na mambo mengine. Tunaomba serikali ya county kama kuna uwezekano waweze kututetea ili yale zile sehemu ambazo kampuni za chumvi hazitumii yale maeneo tuyapate wenyewe na tuweze kulima kama zamani na tuwe tunapata chakula cha kutosha tukisikia hapo tunaomba serikali ifanye juhudi kutuletea maji ya mfereji kwa sababu mtu uko karibu ni kupanga tu fedha ambazo zinaweza kuleta maji sehemu ya marereni ili jamii ipate kupumzika Mbali na hiyo mfereji kwa sababu ni kama e, njia ndefu ambayo inataka mpangilio zaidi. Hiyo sehemu ambayo imebakia na tumetetea kama watetezi wa haki za binadamu haijachimbwa mabrika. Wananchi wao wanohuru wa kuchota hao maji na visima vichimbwe zaidi viwe visima ambavyo si vile vya kufanya kuchokora chokora viwe ni visima makini vitakavyotoa maji mengi ambayo jamii watatumia pamoja na mifugo yao. As the Giriama word states, Bahadzana Indeed, the past was better than the present. Malana <laughs> 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 